and here we are back in Woolhaven. We've completed our train station here. So this will be our Woolhaven Town train set. So here we have the train station. And oh, it looks like Station Master Anne is having a bit of a walk around. Hi Anne! Okay, so now we're going to be working on the general store. So I'm going to pop back in survival mode here and use my axe to cut down these trees so that we can get those to auto chop. Oh. Looks like there's a hole in the ground here. Okay, let's see. Mm. Look at my player vaults for a chunk of dirt. There we go. All right. Okay, let's these trees chopped down out of the way so that we can make our general store back here. We'll have probably a little market square or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear out a whole bunch of these trees here. What is with this tree? There it is. It had branches all the way to the ground. I don't, I don't think I usually see those do that. Pretty odd. I wonder if it's a glitch or just a new way that they're generating. Okay. Gotta make sure we get those saplings picked up too because they auto plant the saplings, which is a great feature of that little plugin. But we don't want to regrow trees here right now. We just want to get these all... Oh, look at that. There's a cave over here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, we'll have to do something with that. Okay. Probably put a mine or something over there. But for now, I think we're just about cleared enough. I'm just going to take out a couple of these trees on this hill. And let's get... Let's see if that should be enough uh, space here. Okay, so if I had just gotten off the train, hi Anne, and I was coming over here to the general store, I think, let's see, maybe I'll put the mine, a mining company here next to the mine. We'll clear that out at some point. But first things first is we do need that general store. So do I want it across the market square or right next to the station? Well, if we were just getting settled here and this was a new town, we'd want to give ourselves a little bit of room. So for now, I'm going to put the general store over in this corner. Okay, so over into uh, creative mode so then I can get all that stuff back where it needs to be. Alright, so I can just clear land really fast here instead of having to worry about having all the tools. Alright, 
so the general store will be where any of our villagers can go and get food, any of our guests can pick up supplies, where Anne can come over and grab some apples for lunch. We've got a couple of uh, stray logs here. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Maybe... You know, I think actually I'm going to extend this out instead of um, carving it into the hillside. So let's put this dirt back where it was and we'll build on top of it. We'll put it raised up a little bit here. Let's just put this back the way it was. something like that. And we'll put the general store on top of the hill here because there's actually a nice bit of nice flat area up here. Oh, and we can see the water over here. Nice. Yeah, that'll be really a nice place to start our town expanding. Now most of what we build will be along the railroad tracks, but we want to give our visitors some places to explore a bit too. Alright, so let's dig out a bit of an area for the floor of the general store. Put in some flooring materials, but we want it to go flat out the back. Okay, so let's see what kind of floor we want here. Oh, that's right, we've got these stripped logs. Those are nice. What's that one? Oak wood. Okay. Um, let's go with the stripped spruce. That's really nice. Yeah, that'll make a nice floor. Yes, very nice. Oh, wait. There we go. It was, look, it was lining up the wrong direction, so if we put it this way. be nice long planks all the way across. big enough for our store or do we want that bigger? Well, I think it'll be nice for a, a small country store. Okay, so let's see what we want for our walls. Let's, let's make nice oak plank walls. Just come out here, make some nice oak plank walls. Okay, this tree is going to be in our way, but 
that's okay. We'll take care of that. There we go. Alright. Come on around this way. And we'll need to figure out where we're going to put the door. But first, let's enclose that floor. I'll leave that open in the corner there so we can put a support post going up. Okay. Get a nice oak fence post. And I think I'll get the oak slab ready while we're here. Petrified oak slab, that's interesting. I've never seen that there before. Huh. I wonder what the difference is. Let's see. Does not seem to be a difference. Maybe it's just stronger. Interesting. Okay, so let's get oh, and we need stairs. And we'll use oak for them too. Oak stairs. Okay. So there's a support post. Hold up the corner of the general store. Hmm. Maybe I should put stairs just straight up the front. Or should I come in the side? Hmm. Let's see. I'm walking in here. Down into the market square. I would want my stairs to line up straight across. Three across there. do double door to go into the general store here. Get our corners of our building here. Good morning. Keep the monsters away. Basic walls going. And then we'll figure out how many windows we want and what kind of roof we're going to put on the place. Alright, so when we walk into the general store, we'll have some different aisles of food, we'll need to have a grocer's counter. That'll be nice. Okay. So I guess we want a little bit higher roof so we can put shelves up a little bit higher and put some uh, nice signage around. 
make it feel nice and open. Grocery stores are usually pretty tall, so let's keep our general store pretty tall. So let's start off there. Let's get our windows in place here. We want to have a bunch of natural light. Food looks great under natural light. windows. I like those. And what kind of roof do we suppose? Let's go ahead and make it the same on all four sides. Nice and tall in the middle here. add more windows to these walls once we figure out where exactly our roof is going to be and the groceries apartment. In these small towns everybody lives where they work. They own their business and they live upstairs or behind the business. As we get our town a little bit bigger then some of our workers will some of our villagers will live in places they don't work. Especially once we get that mine going, obviously they're not, they're not gonna live in the mine. We'll have the little office, but we might have some little mining huts scattered over this hillside for the miners. Oh, that would be nice to maybe have one or two over on this hillside so we pass by them on the way into town. Alright, this general store is looking pretty good. Um, we need to have some contrasting stairs here. If we just have oak stairs for the roof, that's not going to look very good. Let's see what kind of stairs we can find. Alright, so we've got brick and stone, sandstone, different kinds of wood, quartz, boy that would be that would be bright. Oh, I do like the prismarine, but I'm not sure if that's quite right for the general store. Um, red sandstone. That looks about like what our choices are. Mm. Well, we are kind of close to the dark oak for us. Let's go with the dark oak for the roof. kind of a fun roof to put together because there will be the four corners so we have the peaks all around and we'll be joining them all up as we go Not sure if you could hear that meow, but that was my cat Tater. He's, yeah, might have be might have been able to hear that one. Tater's just playing with a toy over here. This roof going this 
way and that way. Can I leave that open over here? Yeah, I think I'll put a slab there once we get some more of this roof going. For a lot of these buildings, I like to use um, materials that would be located close by, at least for the most part. And you can always import some things, but in these small startup towns, you wouldn't really have a whole lot of um, things that were imported from anywhere. It would be mostly built with stuff you could find locally. Now, of course, that terracotta that I used over there. Now, there's not a whole lot of clay to be found around here, but there is some clay. And of course there aren't any cacti for dyeing it, but I like the way it looks. But I didn't want to get too fancy on it either. as we get going into different parts, make it a little bit more successful town, we'll add in some other rarer sorts of things. But for now, I'm keeping things mostly with common locally available materials. And right now, working on pretty simple designs here, as you would if you were just starting a town, or if you were just starting building train sets. Okay, so we have the basic outlines of the roof, and we just get to come in here and join it all together. start off here and we'll get going. For those of you who have been playing Minecraft for a while, you'll remember when stairs didn't used to join like that. It made it kind of tricky to get the roof to look nice. Um, yeah, that's that's been a while they've been doing that, so that's nice that everything joins together really nice. Makes these corners a lot easier. And, you know, nicer to look at so you don't have little holes between them that you peek through. getting there. All right, after we get the roof done on the general store, we'll work on the inside. But for now, I think I am going to let you guys go. I will finish up this roof because this is a boring part and you don't really want to watch this whole thing. And I will get back with you again once I have the roof done. Alright, thank you for joining us on Woolhaven!